Hey guys, I know it's Thursday, but we are doing Word of the Day Wednesdays because I missed the mark and I didn't do it yesterday and then I realized I didn't even do it last week. So, the, the great news is you're getting a bonus. You'll get a nice little two for one. Um, clearly, I'm on my way to the gym, hence workout gear. But yeah, so thank you for tuning in to Word of the Day Wednesdays. I am author Nicole D. Miller. This is my debut novel, When Love Wins. When Love Wins is an urban Christian fiction story depicting two young female cousins with a rift in their relationship. When Natalie, the faith-based social justice advocate writer, loses her mom, she moves in with her cousin Ashley and uncle hoping for grief support. But instead of a warm welcome from Ashley, she receives an icy cold one. Ashley is the urban socialite, fashionista, artist, a little bit snobby, and she's feeling some kind of way because her ex Darren is Phil and Natalie. Oh, but is there more to the story? Of course there is. This book deals with childhood trauma, bullying, uh, parent absenteeism, depression, mental health, anxiety, cutting, but of course, weaves uh, themes of sisterhood, love, restoration, emotional healing, and faith. You can learn more at whenlovewins.love. All right, let's get started. So the last blog I wrote, the last two blogs <laughs> I wrote, um, one of them is running again, hence workout gear. So you practice what I preach. But yeah, running again, that blog post near and dear to my heart. You guys have been on this journey with me with various physical health situations and injuries. So probably about two years ago, twisted my ankle running. But before then, I was a very avid runner. I loved running. And so even in my 20s, I used to do some serious miles and distance and worked up to a half marathon. Never did one since, <laughs> but I can say I did it. So anyways, in this season, I am so blessed to be healing and recovery, recovering. Um, I definitely have had to be gentle and patient with myself. I don't feel like patience is a strong suit, but I can look back and see that I have been stretched and nurtured and now I'm able to persevere more than when I was younger. So um, the really cool thing about running is that I feel like it gives you a picture of spiritual discipline and faith. So I just kind of give tips in my blog about how I use these little techniques to keep running, to keep meeting certain distances, and how running is different depending on the season you're in, and how important it is to know what season you're in. So all of these natural uh, applications, we can actually project about our spiritual life and our faith. So if you're in need of a pick-me-up, Definitely uh, tap into running again. I definitely share just about how I had to learn to listen to my body through my various injuries. And now as I am getting back into the swing of things, I'm not kind of going super hard. I am listening to my body because I realize I need to invest in myself now and my future self will thank me. All right. So the last blog that I just released this week is called The In Between. Do you find yourself navigating this space where the manifestation or the dream or the desire is in front of you and you can see it, but you're in the process? That's what this blog is about. I can definitely see that in my journey. I relate it to the holidays, just navigating loss and grief during the holidays, the support system I have, how God has just raised up people to fill the spaces in my life when my loved ones have transitioned. Um, but still the tension with that, the difficulty of that, especially having done it for so many years. So I want to encourage you guys, if you're feeling similarly, you have this dream, this desire, this manifestation, but you're still in this process, you can become discouraged. I have definitely become discouraged. Um, let's get encouraged together. So tap into that blog. It's called The In Between. And one of the things I do is I share about our upcoming event for Girl Talk on the same topic. Girl Talk, um, you guys know, is a space for women safe space for women, for women to affirm each other, to encourage each other. And it's really healing through sisterhood. We usually have four to six panelists who come together. These are heavy hitters in the Cleveland area and beyond. And they're female leaders, you know, doing their thing, transforming communities in their spheres. 
So we come together, we dialogue about heavy hitting topics, usually near and dear to my heart. And so the next one is our very first in-person girl talk, which I am super excited about. We're going to be at Ink Therapy Studio on Sunday, December 18th. Is it 18th or 17th? 17th. December 17th from 6 to 8 p.m. Drop in, it's only $5, 10 at the door. Um, so definitely RSVP ahead of time, bring a friend. It's gonna be some uh, light refreshment served, some good fellowship, definitely uh, tapping into the Q&A. There'll be a Q&A uh, space for audience members, as well as good fellowship and networking after. So come in, come through December 17th, mark your calendar, six to eight, $5 online, $10 at the door. And we will have to you wines available, uh, selling wine uh, available for purchase. So come through, don't miss. If you are confused, that's what I'm talking about. Go on Eventbrite, <laughs> it will give you all the deets. Eventbrite, type in Girl Talk, dealing with grief for the holidays. All right, so I'm about to work out. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your evening and I will see you next week.